Hello everyone. It's Saturday morning, October 27, 2012. It's actually a very nice day here in Northern Virginia. It's a nice autumn day. A lot of leaves are falling. And I'm working on this lawnmower that my neighbor gave me the other day. Before I started, I did a couple of simple checks that it's important to do. Make sure the deck is okay. Make sure the blade is on securely and not damaged. So if it starts, you don't have any safety hazards. As I said in that first project video, the gas is very, very old and stale, so you need to get that out of there. A lot of times you can just tip it over and dump it into a container, but that's sort of messy. So I've got this siphon I'm going to try to use. And it's siphoning out nicely. In the old days, I used to uh, not use a turkey baster to make a suction, but I've gotten a little smarter since then. So while that's draining, I can show you the filter. The filter is fairly dirty, but if the lawnmower starts, we can get a replacement for that. This is the spark plug. Auto Light 356, I think that's the equivalent of a J19LM, but I have a J19LM I'm going to put in there. I've cleaned it and gapped it, so that should be okay. Fortunate it had a full tank of gas because this gas is probably too stale to be used. Let that, it really smells bad too. Let that continue to drain. Let me hold this up so you can see how. I mean, it's it's when it gets old, it it oxidizes or varnishes and it discolors and it will gum everything up especially in a small engine carburetor Okay, so the gas is out of it. I'm going to stop the video here and put some fresh gas in it and put the spark plug back in. And then I'll start the video again when it's ready to see if we can start it. Thank you. Okay, we're back again. I put fresh gas in the tank. I checked the oil. The oil was a little bit low. We'll prime this a couple of times. I've installed a new spark plug. And we'll see what happens. Try a little bit of carburetor. It appears to be drawing gas. But if the gas in the bowl was bad, that'll have to be drained. Okay, I think I'm going to have to take the bowl out 
and uh, I'll update you in a little bit. Thanks. Back again, guys. I removed the carburetor bolt. It's not in good shape. Let's see if you can see this. It's got a lot of gum and dirt on the bottom. That's the jet. That'll need to be cleaned. And let me see if I can get a view of this. Pardon me for wiggling the camera. So you can get a view of the float. Let me see. That's the float. There's so much gum that it doesn't even move on its hinge. So that's going to need some work. I'm not sure whether I've got a new bowl gasket in my collection or not. So back in a little bit. Thanks. Hello everyone, this is the last part on this lawnmower. I took the carburetor bowl off. There was so much gunk in the carburetor bowl that the needle was even stuck in the needle seat. And I spray cleaned it all. I used, uh, let me see if you can see this. This is a set of welding torch tip cleaners. You can get into small uh, orifices and carburetor ports. It's very handy and I used that to clean it out a little bit. I put it all together and it still wouldn't run. So I checked my work and it seemed to be okay. Uh, and then something occurred to me I ran into on another lawnmower and that was the, sh the, the wire that, that kills the ignition can get frayed and short out against the rest of the lawnmower. So we'll move the camera and see if you can see what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can find the wire now. Okay. This is the brake assembly. And right here is a little wire that goes to the primary side of the ignition coil or module. We'll tilt this up, I don't know if you can see this or not. There's a little clip that that clips to. So when you release the brake, let me see if you can see. So when you release the brake, it puts the, uh, the blade brake on against the flywheel, and it also grounds out the ignition system. I took that wire off. Let me move the camera. So that was part of the problem. I'll have to take the cowling off and see where that wire might be frayed. But in the meantime, what I think I'll do is put some fresh gas in this and use it, run some fresh gas through everything. So thanks very much for watching. And if you run into a carburetor problem like this, uh, you might want to check out Donnie Boy 73's channel. He has a lot of videos on rebuilding carburetors from beginning to end that's very useful. And he'll also explain about old gas and water in the gas. So if you need something like that, check his channel out. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.